It is always a pleasure to film the great Lasha Talakadze, the strongest weightlifter of all time. Now people chuck around titles like the strongest ever too loosely, and so I don't use it lightly. At the point of filming this, Lasha was not only a three-time world champion and an Olympic champion, he was a holder of the heaviest snatch and more importantly, total, the metric by which we ascertain strength in our sport of all time. In 2016 at the Olympics, Lasher's 473 kilo total overtook the best of Alexander Karlovich of the Soviet Union. And by the 2017 World Championships, Lasher totaled 477 kilos, moving beyond the strongest ever, Leonid Taranenko, also of the Soviet Union, into the unknown. In some ways, Lasher was his own Roger Bannister not only the first to break the 476 kilo total of Taranenko that had, for nearly 30 years, remained unbeatable, but also moving beyond into the unknown with no sign of slowing down. In fact, if anything, he seems to be speeding up. At the 2019 European Championships, Lasha totaled 478 kilos. And then at the 2019 World Championships, five days after this very training session, Lasher jumped up by a further 6 kilos to 484, separating himself from names like Anatoly Pizarenko and Hussein Razazadeh by 19 and 11 and a half kilos respectively. Five hundred kilos is a total that has always been regarded as an absolute ceiling of human capability in weightlifting, a total that no one would ever be able to touch. With Lasha now towering above the limits of history, we are seeing for the first time someone who is heading towards that ceiling, full steam ahead. On this day I knew that Lasha was going to go heavy again, for the final time before he competed. He's always the same with his heavy days. Nine days out from competition he hits his heaviest total, and then five days out he takes his final heavy lifts before competition. And in between that are just lots of muscle snatches, powers, pulls, squats, push press. I've actually uploaded some of that to the Weightlifting House Patreon if you just can't get enough lasher. The link's down below if you want to check that out. Team USA had already been in and trained, as had Team Iran, but I'd been in the training hall all day waiting for Lasher. Four days prior, during his other heavy session, Lasher had obviously hurt his wrist as he worked up in weight, icing it immediately after the session. We actually had a semi-awkward moment during that first session as he tried to sign my copy of the Greatest Weightlifters book with a pack of ice wrapped around his writing wrist that kind of prevented him from moving his hand as he normally would, but we, we got through it. For those of you interested in what Lasher is actually like as a person, or at least as an athlete in the training hall, that's all I really have experience of, he is pretty much as he seems in these videos. He's relatively quiet, he sits on his own chair and his coach comes and talks to him, his physio and his brother are regularly there and you know occasionally they'll have a little bit of a laugh but he is one of the quieter lifters he's not like Shizu Yong who sort of struts around knowing that you know he's unbeatable or like Simon Martirosian who has somewhat of a sense of aggression about him as he walks around or, or someone like Kinushu Sami who has an air of confidence and almost superiority as he walks around the training hall Lasher is very quiet, he doesn't really assert himself even though everybody in that training hall is aware of Lasher's presence, they know where he is in his workout, they know what weights he's about to hit, everybody starts 
timing their workout and their lift so they can sit down and watch Lash when he does his. But Lasher doesn't really rise to it in any way other than doing what he's supposed to do and hitting all of his lifts all the time. And I'm pretty sure that 200 kilos in the snatch was his plan for the day and it really didn't seem like the wrist was too much of a bother for him here. In fact, he looked especially pleased after his first of two singles at 200 kilos. 90% of his best ever lift of 221, a weight he hit in the training hall of the 2019 European Championships in his home city of Batumi in Georgia. And to be fair, no one has ever made 200 kilos look so easy in the snatch, so I'd probably be smiling too. I think though that it was actually because of his wrist that he ended up going a little bit lighter in the clean and jerk. I think he was planning on hitting 240, maybe 245, but ended up with 230 just because something wasn't quite right in the wrist. But fortunately for us and, and everyone else there and for all of you guys back home, his wrist was okay on game day where he was able to hit an all-time PR for himself at 264. One of the things that I really like about watching Lasher clean is that he actually puts a decent amount of effort into the bar height on each lift, meaning that we can see the bar height drop incrementally over each additional weight increase. Many lifters pretty much catch every clean at the same height, like Tian Tao for example. From 60 kilos to 231 kilos, he basically doesn't pull the bar any higher, he just gets under quicker and the pull looks slightly heavier over time. But with Lasher it looks as though he makes a concerted effort to pull the bar high, even pausing to a slight degree in the catch before riding down the front squat. And that kind of begs the question, what could Lasher power? Certainly 200 kilos in the power snatch, but maybe as much as 240 kilos in the power clean? His receiving position on the 230 here is clearly above parallel. Considering that the heaviest power clean on film in existence is at 232 kilos held by Lash's contemporary Bertad Zalimi of Iran, I'd put money on Lash's capabilities to hit 240 kilos. In fact, I'd actually be interested to see what you guys think, so just post down below and I'll take a look. Something interesting for you all is that Lasher did not perform any front squats in the near two week run up to the World Championships. In fact, I haven't actually ever seen a video of Lasher front squatting. He is the opposite to Shi Yong in that sense. The most we've ever seen from Lasher in the squat is just 310 kilos, a video that appears to have disappeared from the internet at this point. I took a look for it early and I couldn't find it. But even so, this workout here of 285 kilos for doubles is something pretty special to see from Lasher. According to his coach and 2004 Olympic champion Georgi Asenidze, he rarely goes up heavy in the back squat. In fact, I believe the most that he's ever actually hit in training is either that 310 or maybe 320 kilos.
Whilst there are others who can move 285 kilos as fast as Lasher, for example, Matsaim or Aishiro Murakami, none of them really have to contend with the limb length and general longer distance that Lasher has to move the bar. I think that, for me at least, not only are his snatches and clean and jerks the most impressive, but so too, I think, are his squats. One of the things that I really like about Lasher is when he calls for a weight in competition. You don't think to yourself, oh great, we're about to see whether Lasher can now do this new weight. We think to ourselves, finally, Lasher's about to show us this weight that we already know that he can do. And every single personal record and all-time world record that he hits is like that. There's never any doubt as to whether he's going to make it. We're just excited that he's finally showing it to us. So, will we ever see Lasher total the mythical 500 kilos? It's certainly going to take someone as similarly mythical to do it. You can support Lasher's journey to reach his goal of 500 kilos and also the production of these videos with a Lasher 500 kilo total t-shirt at the link in the description along with the link to more videos of Lasher. And don't forget to grab some Weightlifting House thumb tape too. Train harder, hurt less.